Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's your favorite bad boy of yoga on the planet, Yogi Chris PhD. And I want to talk about how disappointed I am with the yogis during quarantine. It seems like the yogis of the United States, the people that practice yoga, that run yoga studios, and I should know, I mean, I've been in communication with 2000 yoga studios in the United States. I've traveled and taught to like 70 of them. I have intimate communication with many of them. And, and of course, I'm connected with them on social media in various ways. And it's just very disappointing. 95% of these spiritual people are sacrificing personal autonomy, independence, and their free choice to make the right decisions for a sense of safety. They've adopted communistic, socialistic ideas where the state should take care of them. Not so different from, uh, like, let's say, an old school Catholic that would say God will take care of them. They don't need that personal responsibility. And I mean, maybe if you go old, old school, I mean, everybody can nitpick the words I'm saying. Just get down to the bottom base root of things. Yoga is teaching you to be, I mean, the practice of yoga, because yoga is not a thing, really. Yoga is the absence, really, of any disturbance. But... Yoga practice teaches an individual to value themselves. Like it's impossible to go through posture practice and not start to take a, a measurement of how good you're feeling, how your sleeping habits is affecting your practice, how your dietary habits are affecting your practice, how communication, how everything in life is affecting your practice. So you start to gain a sense of self-worth and start to measure the value of the activities. You know how they say, let go of that, which doesn't serve you. You could also like kind of call it mathematically, like let go of things that aren't adding to your life, that are subtracting from your life, subtracting from your goals and purpose and so on. And I'm just very disappointed in the spiritual community of the United States. Very, some people do speak up and some people speak up in the opposite direction. Like there was a whole movement of yogis against QAnon. It's so absurd. They are in Maya. They are being mind washed. They're cloaking their weak victim mentality behind social news, so socialist news and communistic news, and just slandering the other side. Not only that, but the proponents of, let's say, like a vaccine, the proponents of wearing masks, the proponents of top down control from the government are literally using someone else's force to impose their ideas and ethics on you. So they can't convince you because those people are spineless. They're spineless. Even the social justice warrior or whatever, uh, yogi, you know, feminine, whatever, they'll get in your face and they'll yell, but they're weak. They're weak. They would never be able to do that in the jungle. They're only doing it because other people have their back, especially police. Well, they'll shame the police until there's maybe domestic violence or something. Then they'll call on the police. And those police will probably be guys. They don't need to be because the girl, the chicks will have guns or whatever, but it's going to mostly be guys. They're still calling on the protection of guys. And the only thing that gives them any spine at all is the fact that they think somebody has their back physically because you wouldn't have a chance. You wouldn't have a chance. If it, and it's like, well, Chris, you're sounding pretty aggressive and violent. You're threatening violence. And it's like, you don't understand. You don't understand. The individual has a right to defend themselves. It is not violence to defend yourself. And the ideas of the feminist, socialist, communist, leftist, spiritual community is to take away your freedom of choice of yourself in the name of safety. And I'm telling you, that's not safe. That's very, very dangerous. It's just obvious, you know, people that first trial of people taking vaccines, there's, there's like Bell's palsy, there's this chick I just saw passed out. They're even faking it. I saw a guy take a shot for the COVID vaccine. It was an empty syringe. When they zoomed in on it, he didn't tap the syringe. It was empty. It was already totally depressed. There was nothing in the syringe. It's fake. There's so much fake news out there. It's just absolutely absurd. If you go on Instagram, you just look up film your hospital or look up the hashtag fake news media, and you'll see tons and tons and tons, like hundreds of thousands of contradictions that people have documented on the news, misreporting, lying, recycling stories, different news channels reporting the exact same thing, even though they're shaming each other. I mean, it's just totally, it's a mind war. It's a psychological war. That's what in yoga philosophy or, or Eastern philosophy, they'll call Maya. It's the illusion of the world. 
And it doesn't mean that I'm not in the illusion. I have my own illusions, but I don't have an illusion that the vaccine agenda is not for your own good, that COVID is not a real thing for a 99.7% survival rate, which is still probably misreported because there's so many, like I said, there's so much evidence of misreporting that it, you'd actually, you'd have to just say that everybody is lying. You just have to say that they're lying and believe the news. And that's all it is. And so that is very not independent. So the independent women, you're not being very independent there. You're actually depending on men to protect you and you're depending on the news media to be telling the truth. And so that's just foolish. And you should be ashamed of yourself really because you're misleading. You are attracting an audience because of your femininity, because of your beauty and your aesthetic. And maybe you have some good yoga too. I mean, there are good, great yoga teachers that are chicks, but Yoga with Adrian or whatever the fuck her name is, has 3 billion followers or whatever she has on YouTube because she's a mildly hot babe. I mean, she's not that hot, but I mean, you're showing yourself in revealing clothes, stretching and bending in all sorts of positions. How many of her subscribers do you think are really doing yoga? And, that, and she's legit as a good yoga teacher. There's a lot of people, women especially, and guys do this too. They fall in the trap where they're valuing. I mean, it's a different subject where they're they're presenting themselves as a pretty boy and they're attracting an audience like that. That's great, man. If you can attract an audience with your looks, I'm not saying make yourself uglier. I'm saying make yourself more beautiful, but um, it's not okay to be a proponent of someone else imposing taxes on you. It's not okay to be a proponent of someone else forcing you to get a vaccine or taking away your rights. It's not okay. That's not what yoga is. Yoga isn't go and whine and bitch and moan and complain to a higher authority so that they impose what you think is right. And it's really bullying because what happens is people on my side, we don't use the force to impose our opinions. So one side is using force to impose their opinions on the other. The other side is just saying, we don't use force to impose opinions. So we end up sacrificing ourselves the people that are for independence and freedom. And don't think of me as like a Republican or something like that. I'm registered that way so that I can vote that way because I wouldn't register Democrat and independent is absurd to like, why? It, it doesn't do you any good other than the, the ego gratification of saying I didn't subscribe to one party or the other. This is about personal freedoms. And I'm very disappointed with the spineless and unethical nature of the yoga community that is so scared and such a victim of their own mind that they would totally willingly give away their freedoms and then beg and shame and guilt you into giving your own away for some sense of safety. It's just a sense of safety. It's not even real. And some decisions you can't take back. They inject some nanobots into your body through uh, Microsoft's patent on you know, injecting nanotechnology. You can't remove them. If you get sterilized or if you get Bell's palsy, you can't remove that shit. I mean, maybe there's some cure for Bell's palsy, but who wants to go through that? And they might not. And then who wants to go through that? So that's the end of this video blog is a bit aggressive. I haven't done a video blog in a long time. It's mostly been like yoga technical videos or maybe some live streaming of my podcast. So, but I think I'll be bringing them back more. And so if you like this video, definitely subscribe, share it with somebody you think you'll know it. If you don't like this video, fuck you. I don't care. I don't care if you don't like this video. You're part of the problem if you don't like this video, because all I've been talking about is personal freedom and your uh, dis, um, you're right, you could call it, to make the decisions for yourself. This is what a yoga practice is supposed to be, that you make the best decisions for yourself. And naturally, what will happen from that, what will spawn from that is the best decisions for your family, the best decisions for your personal tight-knit group, the best decisions for your next bigger group, for your nation. As you start to respect yourself, you start to take on what are better decisions for the group, the, 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 the pair bond, the family, the group, bigger group, the nation, and the world, and then animals, and also as spirits, everything. You know, it expands out like that. What we have is a population of people that's split, and so half the population, they take on what's best for the government before what's best for them. What's best for the government and ahead of their family, ahead of their group, they got it backwards. And that's the communist agenda is to break you like a slave animal so that you don't value yourself like the other side does. The other side, we value ourselves. That's what personal freedom, that's why you would have personal choice because you consider yourself a responsible, intelligent adult that you can make actually the best decisions for your own life. The government can't. They have too many incentives to corruption, which is what's happening. We're seeing right now a battle of good and evil during quarantine, and it's not who you think it is. And so you go do your own research. I don't need to fucking make an hour long video blog about it. So 
I'll see you in the next one. This is Yogi Chris out from my light to yours. Namaste.